Okay, we're on first or first platform A47. This is the anchor windless machinery room. So here's the steam engine that drove the windlasses that raised and lowered the anchors. As we walk forward, here's the output shaft. Here's a thrust bearing. And then here's the two large gears that drive the uh, windless shafts that you can see here. They're disconnect, they have disconnects on them to where they can pull the shafts if required. Forward of that is a uh, circulating motor for uh, lubricant for the valves. I'm sorry, for the, uh, for the gearing. Okay, now we're looking aft. We have crew lockers. There are brackets on the bulkhead, so they did have berthing space here. Once again, here's the windless engine. And then the steam inlets and outlets for that. So th this would be the uh, main valve. To the controls it steam input. No, I'm sorry, I take that back. That's an outlet valve. There's the throttle valve up here with the handle off. The large wheel is uh, changes the the uh, valve timing, so you could either run the engine forward or reverse. Here's the Stephenson linkage that controlled the valves. They used uh, slide valves that are right there. And then this is one of the two pistons. This is a double, op uh, double action or dual action piston. So it uh, pressured on both strokes. This did not use pressurized lube. These are wicks to where they would regularly have to pour oil in them to keep the bearings lubricated. The uh, valve wheel still turns very freely. And you can also see the valve angle change as I turn the wheel. <laughs> 